So now we're going to see how a change in fixed costs will affect the long run competitive equilibrium. So again, this is an extension of the yo-yo's example you saw before, where the fixed costs had increased. So what exactly happened there? Well, we saw that the city had imposed a license fee of $100, and that it had no bearing now on the price or the quantity in either the individual firm, so what yo-yo's decided to produce, or in the market. So that left us here at P1, producing a Q1 here for yo-yos, and then that extended here to a price in the market with a Q1 quantity sold of soft serve ice cream. So what happens now in the long run? Well, we're going to see that no firm wants to incur an economic loss forever. So what they're going to do now is sell off their machines or perhaps sell off their factory in order to exit that market. So in this case, what's going to happen? Well, either yo-yos or other firms selling soft serve ice cream on the beach are going to want to exit that market so they can avoid that economic loss. So we're going to see here that there's going to be a reduction in the number of suppliers in the market, and we know that it's the supply factor, so that's going to shift the supply curve up and to the left. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to decrease the quantity sold of soft serve ice cream in the market, and it's going to raise the price of ice cream as well. How is that going to relate to yo-yos? Well, here we saw that at P1 and Q1, they were incurring an economic loss of this red shaded region here. So that's to say it was the difference between average cost and the price they could sell their ice cream multiplied here by Q1. But now that we're looking at the long run, what's changed? Well, we've seen now that the supply curve has shifted to the left, increasing that price in the market, and that's now going to increase up to the point where they're exactly breaking even once more. So how will that change Yo-Yo's production decision? Well, that's going to increase the quantity that they produce up to Q2, until, again, price equals marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And that's going to lead to this price, P2, and quantity 2 here in the long run competitive market.